What's up, everyone? Uh, this is Retro Lizard coming at you. This isn't a mod. This is a rehab project, and this was a long time coming, too. Uh, this is uh, a Street Fighter Championship Edition full-size cabinet. Uh, this was originally... Um, uh, what would, I forgot the name of the cab that this was, but I have the graphics over there somewhere. Um, this is a complete full size. This is a rehab project that I did. Uh, this cab originally started out as uh, my buddy owns a uh, retro game store up in Lockport, New York called Toys From Low. Uh, Josh Lee Lopez, Toys From Low on Facebook and Instagram. Um, he got this for his store. This was originally supposed to be um, just a project for me to replace his controls. He bought this machine and the controls were broken and they didn't work. So all I was supposed to do originally was replace the sticks and replace the buttons, um, which I initially did on this. Um, after I initially put in the first player buttons, I decided to plug it in and test them out and see how they worked. Uh, the machine did not turn on. Uh, we could not figure out why. The machine worked when he bought it off the person locally, uh, but when I plugged it in, it didn't work. I had no idea why. My first time ever working on these two. Uh, so he gave me an opportunity to work on this for him uh, with some help from some people named Donnie Smith, uh, Vic VP, Kwok Lee, all the wizards. Uh, you guys helped me out with this a lot. Ralph Ronzio, Retro Ralph, you actually gave me some input on this too uh, when I was initially trying to get this up and running. Um, shout out to all you guys for reaching out and doing this, especially Donnie Smith. You gave me so much help on this machine. It's it's just, I'm just so grateful for it. Um, so we initially uh, hooked up the power supply, replaced the power supply on this machine. And the power supply, uh, it turned on, but the machine wasn't turning on. So we'll show you the inside of the machine here. So initially, um, this power supply right here was dead. Uh, I replaced that power supply with a new one, and the machine did turn on. Um, but the screen was just a white line through it, but everything was working. Um, so the screen had what was called a vertical collapse. Me not knowing that, um, I uh, was starting playing around with wires. I hooked up the wrong wire to the wrong spot on the amp or on the power supply, and I fried the board. And the screen was shot, so I did not know that. So the board was fried. Didn't know the board was fried until I bought a converter for the monitor, uh, or not until, I saw, I'm sorry, I didn't buy the converter. I was given a converter for the monitor, and the monitor didn't turn on. So, or the machine actually didn't even turn on. The monitor turned on, but the machine didn't turn on. So, therefore, the board was fried. Um, so, therefore, I replaced the board with, you can't see it, but it's up here. Uh, this is now running a Pandora, a Pandora Arcade. And there's a new 19-inch Dell monitor inside it, too. So this is running a Pandora Arcade, a Pandora 12. It's got 3,300 games on it, and the coin mechanism works. And that is the whole reason why I got the Pandora 12. Uh, from my understanding and research, um, it was one of the easiest things to use um, to hook up the coin door to and get it working uh, with a good amount of arcade games on it. Vic VP, I've seen you do one of those on your Instagram, so shout out to you for giving me the idea to use that Pandora for this. Now, this works just like all my other mods. Um, you hit the on button on the remote, and she turns on. So we replaced the LCD screen, or the CRT with the 19-inch LCD screen. Uh, this is doubled-up plexiglass. There is a piece of plexiglass behind the graphic to hold the graphic in place, uh, because this is a paper graphic. Um, and Josh wanted to use the original graphics on it. He didn't want to replace it, so I had to figure out how to do it. I ended up spray-painting a bezel on the plexiglass um, to do that and to make it look more more homey or not homey but to make it look more finished um, so without further ado let's turn this on we got her on got the stock marquee working I got my coins in my hand. I got another bag full of coins over here. We're just gonna go through some games. I haven't really had an opportunity to really go through this too much, but um, we're gonna go through this and we're going to, I got my flash on so there's a little bit of a glare. 
Um, we're going to go through these games and see what's on here. We got some King of Fighters. We got 3,000 games. And there's 319 pages over here of games. King of Fighters, lots of fighters. We got X Men Children of Adam, Street Fight, X Men vs. Street Fighter, Capcom, Marvel Superheroes, SNK. I believe it's got it's got tons of Street Fighters on here, man. Tons of them. Tons of fighters, tons of Street Fighters. Look, it's got Superstars. It's got WrestleFest. We got Pit Fighter. We got the Jackie Chan game. Mobile Suit Gundam's on here. I believe if we go the other way. So here, page number 11 is where we have Street Fighter. If we go the other way, we have your, uh, it should be your beat em ups. Hot Shots Golf. Battle Arena Toshida, and that's cool. Bomberman Wars, Bust a Move. There's tons of games on here. Rampage is on here. I know Double Dragon's on here. You got Mortal Kombat's on here. More Street Fighters, Tekken, Tekken 2, Tekken 3. Probably doesn't have Virgil Fighter, though. Just seen AVP up here. Like I said, this is a Pandora 12 arcade version. Um, this can be hooked up to also do it as free play too, but we're not, we don't have this set as free play. He's putting it in his store. So therefore we got the coin mech working. This is my first ever, uh, time rehabbing a, f a full size arcade and also my first time ever using a coin door too, which is pretty sweet. So now I can do coin doors on any mod that I need to, or any mod that I want to. Um, real simple to hook up to. I always thought that there was more to it, but now they work out just fine. So, I thought I'd just seen Return of the Jedi on here, too. Yep, it's got Jedi. Well, let's go back the other way. Let's show you what the cab is. We've got Street Fighter. That was on page number 11, was the Championship Edition. Now, I have no coins. It says insert coins. we got no coins going on here, right? Can't do anything. So, pop your coins in. Let's get fighting. Got you guys on my chest mount for this one too. Haha, <laughs> stupid. Now say you're playing a game and you want to get out of the game, you hold the player one button that brings up this little menu right here, you just go to exit, exit the game. Now you can go to any other game you want. You have to put your coins in though before you play the game. It won't let you play the game if you don't put your coins in. You can go through the list and you can check it out, but you can't play the game. Oh, this is the fighting version. This isn't what I wanted. See, I just lost a coin by doing that. 
Um, so you have to put your coin, pump your coin in uh, before you go ahead and uh, play any games or before it lets you play any games. So... I know the regular Double Dragon game's on here, too. It's just a matter of where is it in the list. Metal Slugs. Let's do Metal Slug. coins too so there you go yeah i'm all out of coins now <laughs> so there you go here's the pandora man there's 3,000 or 3,300 games on here um it's got tons of games on here and there's so many to go through it's just absolutely ridiculous so if i do one for any stores or any commercial you will be getting the pandora in here here's the double dragon games i knew they're in here i will do the pandora arcade just so that you can have even batman's on here just so that you can have the coin door, super easy mod to do, um, super easy, super awesome, very affordable, um, and that's it. So rehabbing these, check out my page. I'll be posting how much it's going to cost to rehab one of these on my page, Retro Lizards Custom Arcades. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, if you want to just shut it off, this is super easy. You can just hit the off button on the remote, and she's off. That's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, hit that like and subscribe. Go on Facebook. Hit that like on uh, Toys from Low, Josh Lee Lopez. Check out his store. He ships. He has every retro game known to man in there, including consoles. His prices are right, and he's very competitive. Thanks, guys.